Hello, my name is Cameron Penner, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to rotate your sprites if you don't have the pro version of GameMaker. Now, I know for the longest time I used GameMaker 5, and one day I was like, hey, I'm going to register this. So I registered it, and then I realized I couldn't rotate sprites, and that's the only reason I registered it, and it was super disappointing. And so since then, I've got GameMaker 6, and then later I got GameMaker 7, and now I have GameMaker 8, which is out, and it's great. It's got a whole bunch of cool new features. It's got transparency stuff. It's got it's got this this new color switching thing is is uh it, that's remodeled. It's got this new trigger thing. You can you can add triggers. It's uh here, where is it? There they are. Here you can type a piece of code and you can use that as a trigger. I know that's only for the pro version. Um there's there's some other cool stuff anyways that's not what I'm going to be teaching you today first I'm going to teach you how to rotate sprites if you don't have register version so check this out object guys set the sprite now here we're going to take our sprite and this is what we want to rotate first thing you do whenever you're rotating sprites even if you have the pro version is you're going to just rotate it 90 degrees to the right so now zero is is to the right and what we're going to do is we're going to add an animation actually we're going to do a rotation sequence counterclockwise 360 degrees and this we're going to keep it simple we're only going to do 36 you can do as many as you want I used to always do 90 that takes up a lot of space we're just going to stick with 36 and now that'll give us a nice rotation animation that we're going to use now here in the object guy I'm going to add an event step Control set variable image single to dire, which is going to be our variable for direction. And we're going to take that and divide it by 10. So now we're going to, so now whatever your dire variable is, is going to, that's going to be the, the variable that'll choose your direction. So now we're also going to put in this step event, we're going to, we're going to throw this cool expression in point underscore direction begin bracket x comma y comma mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y that's not true we're gonna go like this we're gonna put that down here we're gonna set dir to that variable and now what you'll see happening is in this room watch this unknown variable direction this is one thing you always gotta remember treat uninitialized variables as zero run that oh how do you like that he points at the mouse now you'll see it's a little bit off. He always points to the left, which means the variable is it's just a little bit too small. What you can do to kind of just fix that up a little bit is you can either make your animation have more frames, or you can go like this, and you can just um, toss that down there for one. you can do this seal and then well, not like the animal seal like the ceiling seal and now I believe it should work normally I haven't I, I never tried testing this tutorial before I just kinda ran it there we go that's a little bit better now he points right at your mouse now you'll see it kinda clips and there are a few fallbacks to this for example if your direction is smaller than zero then the animation just cycles through and doesn't work and it's kinda choppy here I'll show you what it looks like now if you have if you have the actual pro version it looks really nice watch this so much cleaner you can do such small changes and it'll just exactly conform to wherever to whatever direction it's pointing at 
And I would, I would really recommend getting the pro version of Game Maker, but if you're really just too cheap to buy it, then this always works. And there's, there's only a few problems, is you can't have your objects, you can't have the sprite animated because it already is an animation and just animating it just takes far too much work. You could do it, but it just would not, it just wouldn't make sense. But anyways, that was my tutorial for the day. Actually, I think this is the second one I've done today. Anyways, uh, I hope you learned something new and I hope you can somehow use this in your games if you don't have the pro version. And if you don't have the pro version, I hope you buy it because it's just got so much awesome stuff and I hope you guys also also check out some of my other tutorials and learn some new stuff from them and yeah just just have fun making games I'll see you next time